Power slide is one of the most underrated basic mechanics in Rocket League, as it's a very easy technique to learn even if you just started playing the game. But it's not something you learn and then never use in real gameplay. Even at the highest levels of competitive play, you'll see this mechanic, it gives you an advantage against your opponents if you know how to use it the right way. So in this video, what I'm going to be showing y'all is how to use power slide the right way and how to apply it into your real gameplay, but yeah, let's get straight into it. Why is power sliding important? Well, without power sliding, our car just makes those wide motions whenever we try and turn. And then with that, we can never actually fully square up to the ball and make sure that our nose is pointing at it. So using power slide allows us to make these sharp turns and aim our nose at the ball when we need it to. So we have more accurate shots and be more accurate when hitting the ball. But then how do you know if you have power slide on? Well, what you're going to do is go to your settings, go all the way to your controls, go to view binds and once you scroll a little bit you'll see power slide or some people call it drift uh, you're going to bind that to either your arrow button or at least have your arrow and drift slash power slide on the same bind so that you can have easy recoveries when you're trying to hit the ball or trying to defend now that you have the setting on let's go into free play real quick and i'll show you guys what you can do with power slide and how to apply it to your real gameplay all right guys here we go so once you got the settings down what you're going to want to do is go into free play and just try out power slide see how it does see how you like about it so as you can see right here when we're turning without using power slide you have these wide turns it is really hard for you to get to the ball faster than your opponent if you're not using power slide rotations is a different story but when we're using power slide which i'll show you right here on my controller layout it's gonna be my top right bumper you'll see I make these same turns but you can see my car is turning more tighter like this and I'm tapping my drift button I'm not holding it down I'm literally just tapping it where I can make these tight turns without losing speed and without losing control of my car now if you want to make even more tighter turns like 180 degrees all you have to do is hold down the grip button just like that and let go when direction of what your car is facing just like that all right if the ball is going like this and i'm coming back let go of my drift button to where i can literally go straight for the ball if i tried doing that without drift button it would look something like this see how much time you're losing when you're not using drift so that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy and also if y'all guys want to know a little bit another tip about using the drift you can also hold it down and hold your brake to where you can turn really quick in that 180 degree angle just like that but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video that's gonna be it for me it's your boy box tool i hope you guys have a blessed day and night uh y'all let me know if y'all want me to do more tutorials like this in the future or if you have any other mechanics you think i should collab on or talk about please let me know in the comments down below also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for family at Dom Toretto. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me. And Boy Box Soul, I'm out. Peace.